Boom. Hey, welcome back to Mighty Mark Mondays, our live art lesson webcast. I am uh, here at Disneyland. Well, I'm close to it. I'm not on the campus. I, I will be uh, later on. Here, let me uh, expand that square. Look at this. My, one of my, I just bought this last night. I was there. Little Olaf. Yay. We're going to draw Olaf. But first of all, we're going to draw four of my favorite, three of my favorite old time characters from when I was growing up when I was a, a baby 50 years ago. And then we'll draw Olaf, which is the, my, my favorite of the most recent ones. So if you're ready, make sure you have your paper ready. You've got your four squares. And I. Uh, I used to live down here in Southern California, so we went to Disneyland, oh, several times a year, all during my childhood. It's all different now. Put it out in the middle of your piece of paper, and here we go. You want to send me a text, text box open. Glad you guys can join me. It's good to have you guys. Uh, again, um, thanks for your patience this morning with my, I just, I really forgot the time difference. I knew it was a two-hour time difference. But for some reason, you got confused at the start time. So you guys are all here. You're back. Great. Let's get four, scare, four territories. And we're going to start off with the, the most famous of all characters, probably the most famous uh, cartoon comic character on the planet, Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse is based on circles. So let's uh, go to our images. And I got, we're going to draw it. Then I'm going to show you a, a time lapse that I did one for a fan of mine. But let me go to photos. And um, and here's here's the Mickey Mouse right here I have. So it, I I love having the, my phone so I can just pull up these images and look at them and draw. Now I did a, a real fun um, time lapse of this guy. So let's uh, let's draw a little Mickey guy. Now he's based on circles. We're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna block it in uh, first of all with spheres and circles. So let's block in Mickey's face. Mickey Mouse, M I C K E Y. Here, let's draw the face. Blocking it with a circle, really light. Sketch, sketch, sketch. And then we'll draw Mickey's uh, uh, ears. Now, his ears, his head's going to be tilted just a little bit to the left. And Mickey's ears are just a little, kind of, little bit stretched out circles. There's one circle here for his ear, okay? And then there's one circle up here. Okay, we've got two circles, and it doesn't have to be exact. The idea is that you start with three circles, okay? Big, big, big circles for his ears. Happy face, sad face. You guys got Mickey's, Mickey's uh, uh, circles first? Now his nose is going to be about right down here, so not halfway, but a little bit below halfway. We'll draw Mickey's nose, All right? And you can look at the source. You see how... How his nose is lowered down in his eyes, and he has this wonderful frame for his face. So we'll draw that, and we'll just go ahead and darken in his nose, and I'm going to leave a little reflection on his nose. Reflections will give your, draw, your drawing personality and character. Leave a little reflection. I tell you, it was so much fun walking around the Main Street Disney last night. I came up here. Uh, for an education conference, and just uh, haven't been in the park. I wish I had time to actually go into the park, but I get to see on the outside. I get to walk and see and hear all the screaming from the kids on the rides and the fun, see all the balloons. So let's draw the top of his nose right here. And now the eyes, I'm going to put two eyes. I'm going to put one, one eye right here. He's going to cut kind of tall, stretched out eyes. Another eye here, blocking, sketching, sketching. Okay, we're doing very light blocking and shaping. Now, this character's been around for over 50 years. Mickey Mouse. Now, I, I like all the old time, the um, golden age of Disney during the 50s and 60s for the characters Goofy and uh, Pluto and Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. Now, uh, and also, I love all the contemporary characters from... Uh, in, uh, a Toy Story, and from Cars, and from uh, Frozen. Here, let's draw his eyes here, darken in the detail. Now, this one, let's put, 
Let's put his eyes. Now, watch what I'm going to do. These are his pupils. I'm going to still, I'm going to put reflections. Give me half a sad face if you have this one. That's having fun. Just take your time. Sketch, get sketch. Loose and sketchy. And if you guys, you can pull up your favorite Disney characters on your parent's smartphone or your parent's tablet or computer if you have their permission. Make sure you get their permission. And you can study the images and copy them and practice them. You can't go wrong by copying and tracing and studying these wonderful characters from the Disney uh, library. Now, I'm going to draw the fit. Now, look at how so we have Mickey's face. Now, see how Mickey's the, the, his face is framed like this with that wonderful edge like a widow's peak on his, for his, his hair. So right here in the middle, I'm going to draw that little widow's peak. Then it comes around, and it, and it helps emphasize that big smile. So it comes around about right here. See, for, for his eyes, it goes up, and it comes down. And his smile is going to be right here, right? So he has a big, giant smile. And so this goes out. See where the smile is? And we're going to darken that in a second. So let's do the same thing over here. It comes up, it comes down on the other side of his, of his eye. We'll just clean that up in a second, okay? And then it goes up over this big grin he has, like that. Isn't that fine? And we'll clean that up in a second. Comes around here. Now, what I really like is this. His mouth has this lip down here. Let me see if you can see it any better. See that wonderful lip down here? It comes out. And also, when I draw Pinocchio, um, he, Pinocchio has that same mouth. It comes down. This, he, he's gonna. His, his mouth comes down here. See, it's a tapered, tapered mouth. And here's his tongue inside there. A little overlap. Is that little overlapping line? Oh, I have a... a oh, uh, I met the, the lead animator from, from Mulan. I like that text. Uh, his name is Tom Bancroft. And he just is an amazing artist and illustrator. He was darkening the mouth. And we'll clean this up. Now, and, uh, I learned this is the very first time I ever put these wonderful uh, grin lines on a character when I was drawing Disney when I was your age. I put those grin lines on the side, and then his mouth comes down just a little bit right there, okay? Isn't that fun? And then we dart detail in his mouth. Now, let's, let's go ahead and let's uh, darken in. The details. And you can almost hear that theme song playing in your head, can't you? See, now, when I was growing up, every Sunday, we watched Mickey Mouse introduce the wonderful world of Disney. We, every, every Sunday night after Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. I don't know if your parents used to watch that. That's when we only had three channels on our TV. And so we would do it on Sunday night after church. We'd all sit around after dinner and watch it. All right, so it's darkening his ears. A lot of memories here. Isn't it fun? So we got our dizzy. Just draw this. Isn't that, isn't that cool? So now let's take this and let's darken in the ear. Now I'm going to blend this. I'm going to smooth this out, too, so it looks nice and solid. Okay, we have a little, our little Mickey Mouse guy. And this fun on our mighty Mondays. We're, every Monday we'll do different themes. Next week, next week I'm going to surprise you. I don't know if we're going to draw really cool trees with big roots, or we could uh, draw airplanes and flying uh, vessels. You know, we could go in. We could draw submarines. I don't, I don't know. We'll just have to do something really cool. Every week I try to change up. Now, this week, because I'm right here near Disneyland in Anaheim, I thought, oh, that would be so fun to do a whole lesson based on my favorite characters. All right, so now I'm going to use my Stompy, and I want to smooth that out. Isn't that fun? Smooth that out. And there is our... There's Mickey. Wee. Now, what you can do is you want to make your, your Mickey be uh, like the center of attention, right? He's the star. 
So we can put a put like a circle behind his head. And then I'm going to have all these these uh these some uh, some big, some short, some small. Everything points to his nose. These long lines, see these long exploding lines, some small, some long, some short, some short, some long. And he's popping out. It's Mickey Mouse. He's the star of the show. And so I'll do some long, some short. This is the uh, organized chaos, the planned randomness, right? So you try to make him like, yeah. He's the star, and you could, if you wanted to, you could have his little hands up here, his little gloved hands, like he's looking out of the circle. Let me see if we can do that. Let's let's draw his like little couple, like his fingers, like he's looking out. He's got these three fingers in his on his these big gloves. This will be kind of cool. So I'll take I'll take his uh, finger. I'm gonna loop it around, coming out of that circle. There's one. He has kind of kind of these big. Uh, hands. In fact, there's a picture of me. I'm going to show you a picture from from last night. Here, I'll show you a picture of me. I went into this uh, walking through the Disney Park while the uh, outside the park. There's a really cool the the Disney uh, Main Street, but it's not in the park. But it was really cool. And I saw this lady with these big gloves on. I took a picture with her, and I can't find it. But I did see this. Do you recognize this character right here? You recognize that character? What what character is that? That's one of my favorite characters of all. Do you remember? Anybody? Someone type that character in. That was last night. And then, uh, oh, I wish I I saw. I wish. Oh, here. Yeah, let's see if you recognize this character. Anybody recognize? Yeah, that's from the uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast. You guys recognize that character? That character, that remember that from Lion King? Oh, look at here's me. Look at here's me with the big hat, with the Disney hat. See that? Isn't that funny? Okay, now I was trying to find the the lady with the all the the white gloves, the Mickey Mouse giant white gloves, but apparently, apparently I don't have it. So, but you know he has big this big white gloves. All right, so. Let's draw. He has uh, those gloves there. Oh, I lost my image. I had so much fun last night walking up and down that. All right, here's our image. Boom. All right, so we're using that image right there. All right, so now here's his glove. He's popping out of that star, the big celebrity spotlight. He's the star, the Mickey Mouse. He's the star. He started it all. It all started from this animated mouse. I love the story of Walt Disney, what he did with his passions, his dream, his imagination. And he's always been one of my uh, artist heroes, one of my role models. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw that circle on the outside. And then I'm going to have these, some big and some short and some small. And then, so he's popping out. So what I'll do right here is I'm going to make this not as dark. I'm going to make kind of darken in that, give it a little value, give that a little the star behind him. See that circle area here. So Walt Disney has always been one of my heroes of imagination to show how far you can take an idea. You kids, you guys are going to be the artists of the next century. You're going to be the writers and the illustrators. Isn't that fun? And then we have some. See, I made it. This is planned randomness. Not everything. A couple short, big, small. One short, one long. Don't make them all the same. You want to make them all kind of different. A variety, right? We always talk about that. It's long. Do you guys like this? I have to face sad face. What do you guys think? Now on this one, this one, look at I'm going to make these, the, the Mickey, the uh, focus, the contrast, the value. See, I'm going to take this, and I want, I want this to be a really bright area. I want Mickey to really pop out. So I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to make all these lines going toward the center, and we'll smooth this out in just a second. 
It's just going to be kind of scribbly at first, but it's going to look really cool when we detail it in. So I'm going to go through here, get it really dark. Just kind of peeling that star. Coming out here is Mickey Mouse, the superstar. Do you guys like this happy face? Happy? Oh, let me clear. I'm going to clear the feedback. Let's see why you guys like it. All right. Happy face, happy face. How do you guys like this guy? It's going to look really cool when we smooth it out. Okay, so here's Mickey, and he's the star. Oops. Need to keep that star looking white there for contrast. See, see, all the lines are going toward the center, toward Mickey's nose, to focus our attention on Mr. Celebrity. Okay, now Sark inside here, darker down here in the nook and crannies, and it gets lighter as it comes out. Coming toward the nook and crannies. And it gets lighter as it comes out. We just keep, we're going to, I'm going to twist and turn my paper all the way around here. Okay, down dark in here. So the next one we're going to do is Donald Duck. So this will be cool. But this is our big headliner. There's our star, our star celebrity. Okay. And it gets light as it comes out. Oh, you got to make sure that that remains bright right there. That's a long one and a short one. Looking cool, guys. See, I just love a little contrast. I can't wait. Who's going to show me your drawing? Who's going to show me your drawing uh, at the end of the lesson? Anybody going to show me your drawing? Okay, send me a text if you want to come on the camera and show me. Make sure your parents are in the room so you can get, you have permission. All right, so let's see what we did. Now let's take a look at where we're at here. All right, let's take a look. All right, now we get our stompy, which fell on the floor here. <coughs> All right, excuse me. So let's take our stompy first, and let's let's smooth. <coughs> excuse me. And I want to smooth out. We got the let's smooth out the background, and the inner circle first around his face. So there's Mickey's fingers, and I'm going to smooth this out so it looks cool. I hope you have your stompy with you. Now, I'm going to take my stompy, and I'm going to pull it out from the center. Oops, I almost, I didn't do this one area here. I've got to make sure we get all the, all these lines going to the center. So I'm going to take this. Now, watch. It's going to really make a difference when we clean it up. I really want to smooth out. I want to smooth all that action coming out. It's like a big bursting, you know, he's bursting out. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. It's Mickey Mouse. This could be uh this would be a fun uh sign on your door, right? You're the superstar, you have a big Mickey introducing you. And here we go, it is here we are. Welcome to Caitlin's room or welcome to Holly's house or welcome to Lily's art studio. So we're using our stompy and we're pulling all that action out of it here. Isn't that cool? Happy face, sad face, you guys with me? Ta-da, Mickey Mouse. I love it. I think it looks really cool. All right, I'm about ready for Donald Duck now. So there's Mickey Mouse. The, the whole empire, the whole Disney empire was started with this little cartoon mouse so many years ago. There it is. I love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's go from, from our little Mickey guy. Uh, let's go to Donald Duck. Okay. Now, Donald Duck, the thing I like most about drawing Donald Duck is his bill. I love drawing the duck bill. So let's, uh, let me go to my photos. And here, we're going to draw this guy. Donald Duck. See that? I love his bill, and I love this part around the bill. is really fun. This is really cool. Uh, now we did we did a version of Donald Duck when we did ducks, donuts, and doorknobs. Did anybody draw ducks, donuts, and doorknobs with me? Remember that lesson? If you did, send me a text. If you drew ducks, donuts, and doorknobs, that was a cool one. Uh, let me put make it a little bit brighter here. All right, and we'll start with a little Donald Duck. Now this guy, we're gonna block it, block in Donald's face with a circle. Why do the drawings start with a circle? Why do the characters start with, especially Goofy? What you see, Goofy? So Donald Duck will start with a, we'll block him. We'll leave room over here for his duck bill. 
<laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch his duck out just to, his bill out just a little bit more. So here's his circle. That's gonna be his face. We're blocking. We're sketching very lightly, shaping, shaping, molding. All right now. His, his neck's going to be about right here, so I'm going to taper his neck down. Okay, there's his neck. It's thinner here, and it gets a little bit thicker as it comes down. And so I'm, so I'm just sketching very lightly, whisper, whisper. So I'm going to have his bill. Now watch this. I'm going to pull his bill out over here. So from about right here, from about right here, I'm going to draw this line coming out. It's a little slant. See, just a little bit of a slant from the top of his bill. And then I'm turning the corner. Remember we were talking about direction northeast, northwest? I'm going to turn that bill, the corner right here, just a small slant. See what I'm doing? I'm going to make like a corner of a box. See, I slant it down, just not not too steep, okay? Just a little lead. This, this is a line going in direction north, west, and then let's curve this, have this come back to the body, to the head. All right, so there's our, there's our little duck bill. So we're starting. I'm going to define this in just a second. All right, happy face, sad face. Did you guys get that? Now... Uh, this is cool. Now, so this is uh, direction southwest. This is direction northwest, and then coming back. Now, this tapers back because it gets thinner. All right, now we get to define this cool-looking bill here. You ready? So what I'll do is I start here with an S curve. Watch how I zoom in so you can see what I'm doing on this one. I'm going to focus it for you. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to a little S curve. Look at it curves down. Comes out towards you. See what I did in a nice little curve. I'm going to soften this curve up, and then I'm going to have it go back to the to the uh, base. Now over here, I'm going to tuck this part of the bill under. Watch this. It goes way up and comes over on top. Isn't that cool. You can start seeing the duck. This is overlapping. That's a little fold in the bill. I love that part of the uh, the Donald Duck bill. And then I'm going to curve this in. I'm not going to follow that line exactly. I'm going to kind of curve that in a bit. And back over here, you're going to see this pop out. That's going to be the side of a smile. <clears throat> so his near eye is going to be right in here. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to start here. His bill, his bill is going to come around like that. See that? That's going to be his grin. And uh, a little bump right here in the middle between his eyes. You see that? Happy, sad face. Yeah, the near eye right here is going to be sit, it's tucked right in here. It's a little bit bigger. You can see it overlaps. It tucks down. So you see the overlapping circle. And then over on this side, this eye gets smaller as it moves away. It's a little bit smaller. See that as it moves around the side of the head? So this eye is larger and this eye is smaller. And then I'm going to draw. Oh, I'll give you a second to catch up. Happy. Oops. This one's a little bit tricky. Let me clear feedback. Happy, happy face, sad face. How are you guys doing? This is a little bit tricky. Don't you worry about it. Oh, I got a sad face. Well, just practice this one. Practice. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. Just, just scribble, 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 noodle, noodle, doodle, oodle. Scribble. Don't worry about it being perfect. You're going to get better and better. I promise. The more you practice these guys, and just like I do, look, and you can go on your tablet and you pull up images and you can copy them and study them and you can uh, snapshot screenshots so you can trace them. Put a little bit of reflection in his eye. Okay, let's darken this in. Now, it doesn't have to look exactly like the character. You, you just keep practicing and it get more refined. Like mine's going to look more like Donald Duck's cousin. Maybe this is a uh, maybe this is Ronald Ronald Duck, right? Because it's not doesn't look exactly like Donald. But we're getting the idea. We're practicing. I've been drawing. I've been drawing this guy for years and years and years and years and years. A long time. Um, all right, so oops, i got to get my image in front so I know what I'm, I'm doing. So here's his grin, and he has, uh, there's that same with the Mickey Mouse, remember the grin line right there? I'm going to pull his mouth. His mouth is going to be open. I'm going to go uphill on the bottom of his mouth, and there's, there's his duck's mouth. I'm going to fix that just a bit. Let me erase these extra lines so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, you know what? I'm going to... I want to adjust this mouth here. I'm going to erase that. I want to fix that. I want to have the mouth come down, come down like this, just a little bit. There, I like that better. Come down, and the mouth on the other side. You can see it coming down over here, tapering, and it goes uphill. So there's the bottom of his mouth. He's like quacking, and then you're going to see the edge of his mouth coming down here, and it goes out to the side of his face here. Ah, that looks cool. Here's Ronald. This is Donald's cousin. Isn't that fun? 
Now the top of his eye has a little has a little eyebrow, and this eyebrow is a little bit smaller on this side, and I has a couple little hairs coming out on the front. I'm going to put a hat on top in a second. Then back over here, watch this. I'm going to draw these hairs. So I'm going to erase this back here, and we'll draw Donald's hairs coming around. He's just all all happy. And now I'm going to leave his neck like that, but I'm going to put a funny, funny looking hat on him. He has this really cool hat. So I'm going to draw the top of his hat curving. That's the base of his hat. And then the top of the hat with a feather on it. See, here's what we're going to draw. You see that, that really funky hat right there? So we're going to pull the top of the hat out, overlap, and think of... Okay, can you hear me now? Can you see me? Is it, is it moving now? Is it unfrozen? Okay, great. So let's, uh, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to put a little bit of value on the hat. I'm going to make the hat a little like a... On this image, is blue, but I'll go and tone it in here. Okay, good. It's moving. And then I'm going to darken in the band around his head. And we'll be doing this when we draw uh, Goofy's hat, too. And then I mean, he has a little, little feather coming off the top here like that. Isn't that cool? And then let's darken that feather in. I love the details here. Now let's take our stompy, and I'm going to smooth out. Oops, I use the other side. I want to smooth out the hat, and I want to I want to give the whole his whole beak a, a little value. All right, so I'm going to give the beak a value, but not as dark as inside the mouth. You see what that does? It gives it a value, and then we'll clean up around here. And uh, that's cool. I'm gonna maybe I'll give him a little collar. He has a collar, so I'll uh, I'll draw this his uh, neck, his shirt. He has a shirt on. I'm gonna overlap the collar right here, and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll draw the other side of the collar, a couple of wrinkles like that, so you can kind of see see his clothes on there, little shirt. All right, clean up his neck. That looks cool. Now, as you practice this more and more, you can add clothes and hands and shoes and costumes. I just love cleaning up the drawing. All right. How do you guys like that? Anybody? Anybody have a happy face, sad face for our little Ronald Donald's cousin guy here? It's a little bit darker under his chin. Uh, oh, let me see here. Uh, Hetty. Uh, yes, I can see you, Hetty. And Hetty, do you want to come on the camera? Do you want to come on the camera after the lesson? Love to see you. Oh, well, good job. Look at you guys. So we have, let's zoom this out, a couple of Disney characters. We have our Mickey Mouse. We have our Donald Duck. Wasn't that fun? I love it. On this one, we practiced with the duck bill with that foreshortened with the overlapping ripple. We stretched it out a bit. Uh, I like the thickness around the eyes. I like the value for the hat. And I like this wrinkle here on the shoulders on the shirt. All right, well, let's move to uh, one of my favorite characters is Goofy. So let's go to the next picture. And I want to draw this guy. This is going to be Goofy here looking all cool. There's Goofy here. Let me see if I can make it so you can see it in the camera angle. Well, we'll draw it so you can see it. How's that? So we're going to draw uh, Goofy. And one of Goofy's uh, close relatives is the character Pluto. Remember Pluto? All right, so here we go. We're going to draw Goofy. And I saw a great a great image of Goofy last night when I was walking down the market, Disney Marketplace where all the restaurants are outside the park. And let me show you. I'll show you a great picture here. Let me show you this. Oh, here's Goofy. Look at this. this is a picture of him up. I don't know if you can see it. But he was hanging from the ceiling. And, and, uh, with, and all these lights, he's skiing. Isn't that funny? That was a huge, like, 10-foot sculpture of Goofy. I loved it. thought it was really cool. And, oh, look at, on the other side was, the, was Eeyore and Piglet and Winnie the Pooh on the other side of the sculpture. 
That will, you know what? We should do Winnie the Pooh one of these the lesson days. You guys like Eeyore and Piglet and Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh? You want to do that sometimes? Wouldn't that be fun? I love those uh, Christopher Robin stories. All right, so square number three, we're going to draw Goofy, and we're going to start Goofy blocking it with a circle. Again, and here we get. Oh, here we go again, blocking in with that light circle, sketchy, scribbly. Uh, and then I'm going to come off from the nose right here, about halfway, and to come off here, and then I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw the, the Goofy snout coming down. We're just sketching in. We're blocking in the shape. Block in, sketch, sketch, sketch. Now, uh, let's block this. In. I'm going to draw. I'm going to start with Goofy's eyes. Goofy's got these big giant eyes. Here's one eye right here in front. There's one eye there, and then the uh, the back eye gets a little bit smaller as it moves away. Okay, a little bit smaller as it moves away. These are going to look really, really cool, and then. On the on the end down here, we're gonna we're gonna put all this together in a second. So we have a snout coming out. Now down here, let's draw his nose, taper out, it's rounded on the end. This little round, kind of a, looks like a little cork nose here. Leave a reflection on his nose, and then I'm gonna darken this in. And so we'll leave that reflection here. I don't know if you can see the nose we're drawing. See that? See that nose right there? You can see his nose pretty clear. So. I'm going to darken that nose and leave that little reflection to give your character that personality. Okay. Oh, you Winnie the Pooh. Someone's saying that they want to do Winnie the Pooh, Winnie and Eeyore, and uh, Kang and Roo and Kangaroo. And now, I guess this 50th anniversary is coming up. They have a penguin character now. So I'm going to draw uh, Goofy's uh, nose. Now look, it's going to overlap behind here. Here's his fur. He has three bumps on his nose. There's one. I'm going to draw another bump here, too. And his third bump comes out, and that's what defines his eye, where his eye comes down into the face. Three. So the eyes are going to be tucked behind the third bump. All right? And over here, you can see the other side of the bump coming down. See that? And his, his cheek over here kind of poofs out. And this cheek right here, watch this. See this? I'm not going to follow this line exactly. That was our guideline, but I'm going to pull it down just a bit. Watch this. I'm going to pull it down just a bit. See, I, w I went further than that. See that? I just I needed to make it a little bit wider. And uh, so then here, here's the other side of his nose. See, isn't that fun? See that wrinkle? It goes out like that. It almost looks like a box. Like, see this? If we drew these lines, this would be, see this? It kind of looks like a box. See that? See I'm talking about? Now, will you wait till we draw the teeth? The teeth are going to fit right inside this box. Watch this. I'm going to draw Goofy's teeth coming down one vertical line. Now, this will be really cool. We're going to follow these guidelines. I'm going to make Goofy's teeth slant back a bit right here. See this? And then, now this is how I learned how to do it. This is the more contemporary Goofy where the, the teeth, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see here. I don't, I don't know how I can make this less. Uh, the, the teeth aren't as detailed as when I learned how to draw them. But the, the, Goofy's teeth used to be a lot more... 3D and a lot more refined. Let me uh, lower the brightness down here. Maybe you can see it better if I do that. Yeah, you can see. See the teeth? They're not as refined. They're, they're a little more just suggested nowadays. But this one, I'm going to follow this line up in direction northeast. There's the near tooth. Uh, now the thickness line is where it comes in handy. Watch this point. My phone keeps falling down here. Uh, uh, and then someone uh, someone up here is asking us to draw Charlie Brown and Peanuts. Yes, let's do that. Let's we'll do Winnie the Pooh one week, and I'll let you know. I'll send out an e blast every every week. I'll try to get the e blast out. It didn't get out till last night because I've been having so much fun visiting my family here in Southern California. Let's draw Go the other Goofy's tooth coming up here, vertical line. Okay, a vertical line here. And then it's going to angle up. See, it angles up here to the right. Angle this one up to the right. It's larger, gets smaller as it moves away. And, yeah, I get all your letters. And if you guys send me a letter with it, make sure to send a self-addressed stamped envelope. See, put that thickness there. See, this This tooth is smaller. This is larger. This is lower. This is higher. Then let's clean up our image. You love that. Clean up the extra lines. Clean up, clean up, clean up. 
clean all this out. Let's clean up his eyes. See, that is really starting to take shape, isn't it? See how we build it? We started with a, a very uh, loose structure, very light whisper lines. And now um, let's draw his, his, his mouth here. Now his lip from under here. Look, I'm going to see his lip from under here coming down. And then his, his, his whole jaw comes down like this. His whole jaw comes down, kind of shapes his whole face. It's going to go right, his jaw's going to go right over his, his grin line like that. And then we put a little grin right here. So I stretched out the jaw, and his neck is going to come down here. A little tapered neck for Goofy. And I watch this. We're going to draw his, his eye. I'm going to make his eye... Darken and leave a little reflection. Think of maybe you can create your own characters. You create your own characters based on these the, the Goofy, the dog, and the duck, and the mouse. But maybe you'll want to create characters out of uh, out of other animals, out of a zebra and a giraffe and a kangaroo. All right, so there's Goofy. Now I'm going to draw Goofy's ear. He's, Goofy's ear is kind of he has a long ear. Kind of comes down over here. I'm going to kind of draw his ear popping down. Coming almost out of the picture there. See that? And then his eyebrow is up, up above. And then this one gets smaller over on this side. How are you guys doing? You guys good? I'll meet, let me clear the feedback. I want to see how you guys are doing on my favorite little guy, Goofy. Give me a happy face, sad face, medium face. How are you doing? Ah, we got one medium face, one happy face. Now remember, one sad face. Thanks for not quitting. Thanks for not giving up. Look at our page; it's filling up. We got Mickey Mouse, and we have Donald Duck. Well, this is really Ronald Duck. It doesn't look exactly like Donald, but it's Ronald. And remember, our last drawing, we're going to draw Olaf. Olaf is coming up. We're going to draw that guy. So it's worth all this warm-up time. So we're going to draw Goofy. He has this really cool hat. I'm going to draw Goofy's hat, and Goofy's hat's kind of slanted forward here. It's going to come up into this other drawing. Okay, so let's curve the top of his hat. And he has this again, it goes up. They always have these funky hats, don't they? They have these really, really funny hats. And it's uh does have that black stripe right across the top. I'll go ahead and put a black stripe right here. All right, there we go. All right, let's use our stompy and let's tone that in. Tone in the hat. And I'm going to put a little bit of value. I'm just going to use my stompy. I'm going to put a little bit of value. And I'm going to dip it in here. See, this is my palette. So I'll dip it in. I'm going to give the maybe I'll give the whole hat a value, and then a value under a little shadow under his lip, on the side of the teeth. Definitely want to take my pencil and get it nice and dark under the jaw. And oh, you have not seen Frozen. Lily just sent me a text. She hasn't seen Frozen. Well, you have a fun a fun experience. That's one of my one of my all time favorites. Well, I seem to say that about every animated movie. Oh. I saw The Secret Life of Pets. That was my favorite movie. No, I like Toy Story. That was my favorite. No, the Despicable Me with the Minions. That was my favorite. So it's, uh, well, there you go. There's, there's your Goofy looking really cool, you guys. Way to go. And uh, it'll put just a little, I just love shading. I love adding a little bit of shading to give your drawing that nice three-dimensional look to it. And then we want to, Let's tone in his ear. Give his ear the value. Same with his neck. He's got a dark neck. Then we'll use our stompy to smooth that out. Oh, I love it. That's really cool. All right. Well, that's one of my favorite right there for today. Nice job. 
Okay, let's. Here we go. Ready for our last round of best round. So we have our favorite Disney princess. We have our Mickey Mouse, our Donald Duck, and our uh, Goofy. Thank you. Someone said they bought my book. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And don't worry about it if you don't get it uh, exactly right the first time. Just have fun. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it, kids. Okay. And the more you practice, the better you can get. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. You just practice a little bit more every day. All right. Here we go. Uh, now we're going to have fun drawing Olaf. My f Yay, Olaf. I love summers and I love warm hugs. Do you want to draw a snowman? I love that song. I'm going to draw Olaf. Now you can draw Olaf profile. You can make Olaf looking right at you. You can make him looking up sideways. Let's draw Olaf. I'm going to draw Olaf in this position. He's going to be like about right here, like three-quarter view, okay? So let's start Olaf. Start with about right, right here. Start blocking. We got to draw the circle. I'm gonna build them, build a snowman's face with a circle. Now Olaf's got a very interesting face because he's got a high forehead. See this? That's where we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw that guy right there. Okay. So right away on the top, I'm gonna put another circle up here because he's got got that high forehead. So this will be his face, big face, right? That'll be his forehead where his eyes are. Now I'm going to put the, let's position his eyes right here, right where the circles meet. I'm going to draw, draw one eye right here. Okay. And then, let me zoom in so you can see it better. And then this eye, on the other side, is going to be a little bit smaller, just a little bit, at size. See right there, I started with his, that big uh, jowl part of his face. See right here? Oops, I zoomed in too much. Maybe I'll show you the image. You see, I started with that circle for the, his big grin and his jaw, and another circle for his forehead. Looking cool. You can see the, his neck is going to come down from here, and it's going to come under from right here. That's going to be him kind of looking up. All right? That looks like an ice cream cone right now. All right, yay, here comes Olaf. So... From right, right about here, let's draw his nose slanting down. I'm going to come down here in that direction. This is the direction south east. So his carrot, the carrot's going to be this kind of fat, fat carrot at the end here. It's going to be stuck into the, into the nose, into the face. Remember how she shoves it through the back of his head? Isn't that funny? He goes, "Ooh, look at it! It's so cute! It's so cute!" And so his nose comes down, and then kind of a funky little, little carrot shape here. That is one really funny shaped carrot. Now to make the, we'll add more detail on that carrot in just a second because we're going to add contour lines and we'll make it look cool. All right, happy, oh, Buzz Lightyear, I, someone sent in, and then someone said to draw Dumbo. These are great ideas. You know, my teacher is the one who animated Dumbo back in the 1950s. He, he uh, animated Dumbo and Mickey Mouse Fantasia. All right, so here, back to Olaf. We have Olaf's for, uh, forehead. We're shaping it up here. Now, this is going to be, that's going to be his cheek over here. See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm ignoring that. I'm pushing that out a little bit because his grin line, now watch this. This is going to be a big mouth. Coming from back here, this grin's going to come out of the nose. I'm going to draw this grin. Hello, I love warm hugs. That's going to be his big grin coming down here. All right, now... Right where that old circle was, that's going to be where his, his grin is there. All right, so I'm going to clean all this up now. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. I love building the drawings. You start with some circles and some basic shapes, and you keep cleaning it up. All right, happy sappy, you guys with me? We got our Olaf started. We started with his, his jowl circle, his jaw circle. Then we built his circle for his forehead. Clear. Now, it's not perfect the first time. Don't you worry. You just practice it. Practice it. Take your time. We'll post this lesson so you can draw it again. I'm going to put his, his, his tooth. He's got that buck tooth, right? So there's his little tooth. He's going, oh, I love warm hugs. And then he's looking over at you. So his eyes, are, uh, I draw his eyes. I'm going to leave a little reflection in his eyes. Little reflection and dark, and he has these big round pupils. That's kind of one of the identifying characteristics about Olaf. And then draw another pupil. I love 
Warm summers and warm hugs. That song, I've seen, listen to that song so many times. Summer. The little snowman melted in the jacuzzi. It's so cute. All right, now, this, his eyebrows are high. He has his high eyebrows, right? And they curve down. And it's wider uh, at the end, and it gets tapers down. Darken that eyebrow in over there. And then this one is smaller in size, right? So it gets curving away on the other side. There's his other little eyebrow. Do you love it? His tooth looks like a marshmallow. Well, it is. It, the whole guy looks like a marshmallow. It's a marshmallow. It's a marshmallow. It's a marshmallow snowman. It's a marshmallow man. All right, let's draw the thickness. Pop his cheek out here. And then here. And then I'm gonna, he has a little lip, but I don't want to see it right now. There's Olaf looking cool. Now he's got his hair. Remember those three hairs? So you got, he's got one hair. One, two, and three. He's got three hairs coming off the top. That look wonderful. Now, you know what I want to do is uh, I want to shade this guy. Let's shade him. He's, he's got this really, he's got, you can really see a, a, a line right here. A little tone where his smile is, but it's not quite that dark. It's just, a, it's more of a, uh, okay, where's my, up? Oh, I dropped my stompy again. My stompy sure does fall a lot. I'm going to use this to, to draw that line. See that? So we'll shade the edge, shade between his eyes. We're going to shade that, the whole carrot is going to be a dark value. Oh, here's what we're going to do on the carrot. Watch this. I'm going to put some curved lines. See this? Some carrot lines here, see? Contour lines, just curve a few here and there. Do you love it? All right. Uh, it's still a little bit too dark for a snowman. A little bit too dark. I'll go back in there in just a little bit. See, if you if it doesn't look right to you, just go back and erase it and redraw it. Have fun. Let's get a dark up underneath the, his mouth. Oh, look, we got to put a shadow nook and cranny. Nook and cranny. Shade up under his tooth a little bit there. Olaf. Oh, do you know what? we got to put the date on our papers. we got to put the date. Let's see. What does anybody know? It's the 17th. So let's put the date down here at the bottom. It's October 17th, 2016. Make sure you put the date on so you know when you created the masterpiece. I hope you guys have had fun drawing with me today here in, in at Disneyland. And I am... So glad you joined me, Mighty. I, I keep on changing the name. It's either Mighty Art Mondays or Mighty Mark Mondays. My, you guys send me a text. What do you think is better, Mighty Mark Mondays or Mighty Art Mondays with Mr. Mark? What's the better title? You guys help me. I keep plopping back and forth on my e-blast. Now make sure that you are you all getting your e-blast. Are you getting the newsletter every week? Because we send a picture and I send you uh, pictures of my adventures. Now remember, if you uh, artists would like me to come out to do uh, visit your homeschool group, send me an email. If you want to get uh, one of my really cool little art cards, those little uh, artist trading cards, send me a self-addressed envelope to the address that's at the top of uh, markkisslerlive.com, my address. And uh, this looks cool. You know what I'm going to do behind Olaf? I'm going to do something back here. I want to draw... I'm going to put Olaf, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a background behind Olaf. This is always cool here. Now, I don't know if you guys remember seeing, did you guys remember seeing my art uh, of Olaf and the minions? I'll show you that in a second. Also, I want to show you the animated Mickey Mouse I did, or the time lapse. So I'm going to, let's do this. Let's create a, a, a little background behind Olaf to make him really pop out. So what I'll do, but I want all the background lines to go in the same angle. Now, remember, I want you guys to come online. If anybody wants to, wants to come online and show me your drawings, uh, make sure your camera is enabled and make sure your parents give you permission. That's the important part. And your parents have to be in the room. They have to sh wave their hand. They don't have to be on the camera all the way. But I do need to see their hand waving. See this? I'm trying to keep all the lines going the same direction to really make that Olaf stand out. 
And I do layer upon layer upon layer. And then we'll pull this out here a little bit. And I'll, I'll, I'll go back in with my stompy here. See, I really want to make that Olaf stand apart here. So do a nice little, little value, a little contrast. I love backgrounds. I love what backgrounds can do to make your drawing really look interesting and have fun. Really have fun with your eyes. Isn't that cool? Okay. Well, you can watch the recording. We'll post this. We'll record this. This is recorded. I hope it's still being recorded. Let's see. I'll tell you if it's being recorded here. Yep, it's being recorded. It'll be interesting because I know I lost connection in the middle of the recording, so we'll see. See how that's going to turn out. This is really, really a nice looking Olaf, you guys. And remember, you can take. See, I have this this guy, and you can use use your art, your drawings as a, your stuffed animals. You can draw your stuffed animals, use them as models. Draw one looking at you. Look to the side. This the, his his carrot's a little bit bigger than than my carrot. Than that, my nose, my nose. All right, so I'm going to take my stomp. I want to smooth this out just a little bit. You can use your finger if you want, cover more ground. But I'm going to take my stompy and kind of just smooth it out. And there's Olaf. Now I want to show you a couple of things um, in my phone. Let me darken up the camera so you can see it. Um, so let me show you. First of all, I'll show you my Olaf drawing. So that's the Olaf. That was our image that we used as our. Uh, for our drawing as our model. Now let me show you a drawing that I did, the fan art piece, but some of my students are the ones that actually animated the movie uh, Frozen. And I actually, uh, two, the two girls that did the voices of, uh, someone texted me the name of the two voices. I went, that's where I bought this Olaf, was, a was Anna and Elisa's Boutique. Is that what it's called? Her name is Elisa, right? Uh, Elsa, Elsa, that's right, Elsa and Anna, right? Elsa and who else? Anna. I'm pretty yeah. Anna. Okay, so I got it right. Well, those two girls are are students. They're not. Their real names aren't Elsa and Anna. Um, but I met them. They had their autograph table right next to my autograph table at Comic Palooza in Houston. And it turns out that they were they were uh, students on in the live class like you guys. And they do homeschooling. They're homeschooled with their parents because they do a lot of acting and a lot of voice voice characters. Anna and Lisa's voices are students just like you guys in the same age. It's really neat to meet them. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to show you this picture. Just a second here. I want to show you the, my art. Where's my art? Where's my art? Here's my art. Uh, oh, and one day I want to do a bunch of Betamaxes, and right, we we want to do uh, the Big Hero Six. That'll be fun. And then uh, one of the lessons coming up, I want to do Kung Fu Panda. Here's my drawing. I did that Kung Fu Panda. That's one of my drawings. Okay, but I want to show you this one that I did for Frozen here. There it is. Found it. Found it. I'm always all excited when I find something. All right, so here's. You guys ever see that? Now, if you guys want to get uh, a free art card. Um, it's I don't know if it'll be frozen. Uh, whatever. I, every month I have different cards. So just send me a self adjust stamped envelope. I'm not going to promise you a specific. It could be frozen. It could be uh, Kung Fu Panda. It could be my sharks. Uh, whatever I have, it'll be a little three by five card covered in plastic. It's really cool. But you got to send me a self adjust stamped envelope in order to get that card. Okay. Uh, now I want to show you. And the address is at the top corner of my site, markkistler.com. Uh, look at the top corner. It says contact. You click contact, and you'll see the instructions. All right, so here, I'm going to show you my Mickey Mouse drawing. Here's me drawing Mickey Mouse. And if you guys, a uh, lot of uh, my fans will order me a, a commissions. They want me to draw them a, a drawing, and they'll buy a commission. And you can do that online, too. But here's from a purchase commission from one of my fans, and I did the pencil sketch, and then I did a time lapse of me doing the the detail. I thought you'd like and enjoy seeing that. Isn't that fun? It's, uh, so anybody who gets one of my drawing commissions, I do a time lapse so they can post it on Facebook. You guys like that? There's me drawing a little Mickey Mouse, kind of fits in with today. 
And that Olaf, that was a commission also. There you go. Well, hey, guys, thank you so much for drawing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it half as much as fun as I did. Half as much fun as I did. Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, and Olaf. You guys are great. You're my favorite group ever in the whole history of drawing lesson groups. And I'll see you guys on the next lesson. Now, if you stay on after recording, I'll show your drawings to the whole world, okay? Keep drawing, everybody. Stay creative.